Hi there, here's a very quick introduction video on how to do in-flight adjustments using uh, CleanFlight. So first off uh, I will show you how I've set this up in my uh, 9XR transmitter. So for in-flight adjustments you need to have two things. First you need to select what you want to tune and then you need to or adjust and then you need to select uh, and then you have to have uh, switches for doing so. So I have a uh, pot meter here selected uh, for configuration. So this has five settings. So first of all there is a zero setting. It does nothing. So I can try to tune what I want but nothing is being tuned. Then there is the P. I set one for P, one for I and one for D. And these PIDs are for the uh, pitch and roll rate by the way. And then I have a final one is the RC rate. So there is other things you can tune, I will show you in the uh, CleanFlight configurator later, but that's uh, how I've set it up. So I've essentially made this a 5 uh, mode switch, because there is no uh, other than these, this single 3 mode switch on the uh, 9XR. And I like the 9XR as a 3 mode switch to have up and down. So whatever I select here, okay, if I select P here, now it goes down. Now it's idle, and now it goes up. So I'll show you that in a bit. But first, how I've configured it. Oh, by the way, here you can see it, of course, in the values. So this is low value, high value for the auxiliary four. And then if I switch the, uh, or, or turn this knob, you'll see the values which are set up as ranges in uh, clean flight. So fairly easy setup. Let's go to the mixer. First off, channel 6, that's the uh, potentiometer there. Let me quickly show you that. It's very easy setup. So it's just P1 with a weight of 100, and there's nothing else to it. So that's it. So then channel 8, my auxiliary 4 in this case. So it is. Uh, it has these three. It's for ID 0, 1 and 2. So ID 2, which is this, this setting, huh? this is ID2, ID1, uh, sorry, ID1, ID0. So uh, how this is being set up is as follows. So ID2 is minus 100. So the source is full, minus 100. And the switch is ID2 and the rest is all is default. Okay. So I'll quickly show you for uh, ID1. Same thing, and it has a weight of zero. Oops. Oh. Just. So you can copy these. ID zero, which is 100%. So it seems a bit reversed, so the weight is 100. And the switch is ID zero. So that's how it's set up. Now uh, switch to clean flight. So here's your clean flight. I've connected it up. I've also uh, put a battery on. So first let's connect. Okay, this is uh, 1.80 by the way, uh, for which you need to have 0 0.63 clean flights, which is not on the App Store yet, but it will be probably by the time you see this. So uh, basic thing, huh? nothing uh, surprising here, I guess. So uh, first of all, uh, let's go into the receiver. So here you will see, if I uh, dial into the pot meter, it uh, yep. I to go out of config mode. If you uh, dial the potentiometer here, you will see it go up and down. So that's my P, I, and D, and RC rate selector. And then the other switch is uh, here. So you see it mid stick, it does nothing. Lower, it's, it's down and up. Okay. So, first of all, I've uh, also configured an arm button. So, uh, here's my arm switch. So, that's auxiliary one. For demonstration's sake, and then I have a beeper at auxiliary three. So if I pull that, it starts beeping. But the uh, in-flight adjustments, what you are looking for, is on the in-flight adjustments tab. So if you remember, auxiliary two was the potentiometer there. So you see here, if I go higher, it will actually fade on the on the diagram. So uh, that's that, and then the other switch, you won't see. Uh, but that's auxiliary 4. We'll come to that here. So first off, what this does, if you enable it, quite essential, then I say auxiliary 2, so that's my pot meter, 
if it's at a given range, yeah, so in this case it's at idle range, there it doesn't do anything. If it goes to a certain range, it starts to hit the first setting. And the first setting is configured as pitch P adjustment. So that's my P I was talking about. Then I have the slot. It doesn't really do anything. I, I tried switching these, but I didn't see any difference. And then it says fire channel AUX4. So AUX4 is my free mode switch, which then, uh, which then sets things. And just to uh, show you what you can uh, adjust. So you can adjust your RC rate, your RC Expo, which I never use. Throttle Expo, I also don't use that either. Pitch and uh, roll rates, so in uh, Clean Flight 1.0.0, they are separated, but not here yet. Uh, your yaw rate adjustment, uh, pitch P, pitch I, pitch D, and then there's your yaw P, I, and D values. And then you can also select a rate profile. I uh, tend to use that only when I'm unarmed and the craft is on the ground, but it can be useful, I guess. So in this case, my top one is pitch P. So again, that's this particular range. So I've selected another part of the, the range of this potentiometer, so that's here. So that's my pitch I. It's, again, it's, it's tunes for you via AUX4. And then uh, the third part of the range, I've selected, that's my pitch and roll D, and AUX4, you could have guessed. So since I had some range left here, uh, I can go completely to uh, above 2000, I thought why not change the uh, RC rates. So, same thing here, also configured by AUX4. So, of course you want to see this uh, in working, so uh, how this works is, uh, if you actually look here, uh, you see that I have uh, on profile 1, I have a roll and pitch, P, I, and D value. So uh, my P here is a little bit low, so let's use that. So let's first select the P. So that's over here. So I've selected the P, and now essentially, if I start doing here something, my P value goes up. So I've actually uh, just uh, updated that, so if I click refresh, you'll see it has gone up a little. So that's 2.3. So, uh, so basically, if I go, if I put the switch in up, you'll hear the craft beeping, and now it's slowly but surely going up. So I'm pressing refresh here because it won't auto update. So now it should be about four. Let's refresh one more time. So there it's at 3.9. So actually, I mean to go ahead, make this go down because it used to be at 3.6. So let me go there. Oops, already too far. So where are we? be about it yeah okay so now just for demonstration's sake I will go to the I and then it's at point 30 so I'll go a few notches up and you'll see it's at 33 so I'll go down again and there it is at 27 24 oh, that's enough for me actually let's make it go up a little bit again oh, I hope it's back at 30 yeah okay uh, of course, normally you don't have a save button here. So actually, if you want, uh, if you like the settings that you've been using, it's uh, quite uh, useful to uh, to save them. And there's a stick command for that as well. So actually, the stick command is as follows: this this down, this goes down as well, and you will hear a beep from the craft. So now I've saved things. So essentially, if I uh, crash now, or which I often do, or I disconnect my lipo, it will still have the values as uh, shown here. So, thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, thank you Dominic for an awesome uh, firmware for the NACE. Love it and I hope you will like my video if you have actually liked it.